Hi guys, this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Bargains and I'm doing Bass Monday. This is my first one and I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's give it a shot. So I went ahead and put this on because, okay, so maybe this comes down for the nose. There we go. Yeah, I can breathe though. <laughs> okay, so today, and this thing had lots of serum or whatever it is, but Ooh. Okay, so I am doing the Natural Feel Blueberry Mash Sheet. And I'm supposed to be keeping this on for like 20 minutes. And it is by S-A-E-M. Sam, I'm hoping I pronounced that right. I was going to do one of Kimmy's today, but you know what? I just got to look at it. I just got to look at it for a while. Everything she sent me. Before I use it, I just have to look at it. I'm just so excited about winning something and and actually getting to try something that somebody gave me. So I'm pretty excited. So happy Mass Monday. And so, you know, a lot of people says, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about today. Well, I'm a chit chat girl and that's not really hard for me. Um, I've I've been through so many journeys and through so many travels. I got lots to talk about. So what I wanna talk about today is living overseas and some of the things that if you work for the United States government, some of the adventures you have, especially being, in, being as a woman and in a foreign country and I can speak Vision, Deutsch, a little bit of German, uh, a little bit of Italian, but not enough to, to with, with German, yes, but not with Italian. So, but, but let me tell you what happened to me. I was living in Germany and I had been there only maybe a week or two, and of course, Ed was with me, but they decided that they were gonna send me to Italy on a special project, to Aviano, Italy. And of course, that's where at that time, all the F-15s, F-16s flew in, flew, flew out. So I got to the airport, got to Italy, Aviano base, Aviano, Italy. And so where I was working with somebody, I won't say his name, but I called him Buffalo Bill. So Buffalo Bill and I were working on this project, but it was in a building outside from the base. So I had rented a car and when you go to Italy, they pump the gas for you, at least in Aviano they did. And I had rented a little car and um, so here I was driving my car, getting used to the surrounding area because I'd never been to Aviano, Italy before. And so when you're in a strange place and you can't read the signs, uh, it's a little different. But here I go and you have to have an international driver's license. So, so I meet Buffalo Bill and we start working on this project, which had to, to, a lot to do with plans, procedures, that kind of stuff. So we were developing this new program. Well, anyway, in the meantime, I went back to base that night and was staying in quarters, they call it hotel, they call it quarters. I was staying in quarters and we went to war with Libya. And so the word came out, safety procedures, safety precautions, all the F-15s and F-16s were flying out from there to go to Libya. And so I won't get into that, but yeah, it was, uh, it was when we went to war. And so there was planes going off constantly. I mean, 15 minutes didn't pass and a lot of the planes stopped and refueled at Aviano. So there was just planes coming in, going out, coming in, going out. And so they had said, you had a safety briefing and they told us, if you go off base, you need to be aware of your surroundings. Do not get to know any strangers at that time. 
just know what you're doing, be safe, and at the base will close down by six o'clock at night. Everybody needs to be back on base by six o'clock. Um, check in with your commander and let them know that you're back and don't be late. Because then if you're not checked back in with your commander, they would have to track you down and then you could get in big time issues with your commander if he has he or she had to look for you during that time. So it was about four o'clock and I in the afternoon I left I left base, went to meet Buffalo Bill so we could work on the special project. I'm just gonna let this hang down. So we met and we worked all day and then about four o'clock I said, you know what, Buffalo Bill, I'm going to get gas in in my rental car because I want to make sure at all times that I have the car is filled up and there's no issues because I'm a safety kind of girl, especially being alone. Because Ed, we'd only been there maybe a week, so Ed wasn't with me. I went, I went and drove by myself. And so um, Buffalo Bill said, "Okay, uh, I'll meet you back on base. Let me know you got there, okay?" And he said, "Because we put." We didn't even take a lunch break. We didn't want to leave the building because just with everything going on. So I went to get gas and this young lady uh, came and uh, she uh, filled, my, filled my gas tank up. And so I, I pay her. So she runs into the service station and she runs back out and she starts to give me the change, but out comes this man and he's screaming and yelling at me. And so she steps to the side because she didn't speak any English and neither did he. And I didn't speak, the man was so upset, but he was saying to me with his hands, get out of the car, get out of the car. And I'm like, no, I'm not getting out, out of the car. And he said, no, get out of the car. And he's telling me, and then he's getting very frustrated. So I'm sitting there and he reaches into the car and he tries to get my keys. Well, then I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what's going on here? This is not normal. And so then I start saying, you know, get away, get away. I've paid you, she has the money. Cause I'm thinking for some reason, he's he doesn't think that I've paid for the gas. Well, I don't even know if he's the manager of the service station because I didn't go in. All I did was pull up to get gas. So then the girl is getting upset, the young girl that filled my tank, and she's going into tears. Well, then I'm so upset, I don't get teary-eyed because one of the things you learn very quickly is is don't don't get emotional. Stay strong and just say, you know, what's on your mind? And at that time, it was like, I gotta get out of here, get back on base. And so I'm looking around, and so this one person drives up, and uh, Italian, no English, and so he's looking at what's going on, and this man is still yelling, and he's trying to get my keys. Well, I grab the keys out of the car, and I'm holding them in my hand, well, the next thing I know, the man that came out of the service station and the other man that just drove up get behind my car and they start, they're wanting to push my car behind the building. Well, then I go into, okay, calm, what are you gonna do? There's no one here, they're pushing your car. The girl is on the side crying so I'm in survive mode. So I jump out of the car with the keys and, and I've got the car door open. So when I jump out, I've got a hold of the car. Well, the man that, from the service station comes back around and I close the door again and I'm like, no, stop it, stop it. What do you want? What do you want? Well, I'm looking at my clock, and by then, 
all this has been going on for a good 15 minutes. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um, because at that time, there were no cell phones with when we went to war at Libya. And so I'm thinking, okay, you're a smart woman. You figure this out. Well, finally, I thought, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. So the man is still, now the man's not letting me out in the car, but every time I try to put the keys, he starts grabbing at the keys. And so finally, this person drives up, and the other, the other guy that had first drove up was still in the back of my car, and he's still trying to push it while me and the other man are in confrontation, verbal conf confrontation. And so I finally thought, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So the second car drives up, and it's an Italian, but he spoke English, broken English. So he gets out, he's trying to figure out, because I mean, it's a big commotion because the man is yelling, I'm yelling by this time. So the other Italian man comes up and he starts talking in Italian back and forth. And I'm thinking, oh, oh my goodness, what what is this about? And so the guy in broken English says to me, ma'am, or he, and he was trying to say ma'am, and he said ma'am, and I'm thinking, He's saying, man, but he was saying, ma'am, ma'am. And I said, I don't, I don't speak Italian, no Italian. And so he says in broken English to me, car not good. And I said, car is good. I have gas. I've paid for gas. And so then he said, no, car is not good. Well, he finally conveyed to me that the young girl that came over and filled the gas tank, that she had worked, and I knew enough Italian, she had worked there for maybe uh, three or four days. And she, it was a diesel car. It was a small car. And she had put gas in my car and not diesel. And so what happens is, the minute that you crank up that car, the motor is shot. And so the man from the service station was actually trying to help me by not cranking the car up and running the motor. And so this is the end right here. So, the gentleman with broken English called us, not called, but um, talked to the girl and she was telling him that I had paid for the gas and for, for her not to be upset that everything was okay because she was, she was just boo-hooing. And, oh, it was, it was bad, guys. It, it was not good. And, um... So anyway, he got the girl calmed down, but she was probably, I would say, 18, 19. And she had been working there three or four days. Well, if I would have started that car and the motor went bad, the service station would have been responsible for that car. So I thought, okay, this, this has got to be what's going on. So I got out of the car and... Uh, the manager, I guess, told the other guy, tell her to give me the keys. I will take the car to the service station in the morning and um, he will drive you to base. But I knew that Buffalo Bill, that was only like 15 minutes away, had not left because he was still uh, closing up the paperwork or trying to finish the paperwork. So off goes my car and I'm thinking, you know, God be with me because I don't know what else to do. So the man asked me to get in the car 
and I showed him how to get to the building where I worked and Bill was still there, Buffalo Bill. And so um, he was telling me, uh, so sorry, so sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And so my heart was racing so hard from the time that I left that service station to get back to my work off base. And so when I got out, Bill, Buffalo Bill, um, he knew Italian. So he came out and talked to the guy and he said, yes, Bonnie, the girl put the wrong kind of, uh, she didn't put diesel, she put gas. And he's, the, he's going to take your car to have it drained in the morning. They're gonna have to, to wash out the tank and everything. And it, he said, so don't worry about it. Everything's okay. Because by the time that I saw Bill, I was like, okay, don't get emotional, get emotional. But I was getting tears in my eyes because my heart was still racing because I was hoping that this was a true story and that, that that's where we were. And so Bill <laughs> drove me back on base to go to my quarters and um, he said, why don't we go out to dinner tonight and have a pizza since I've got I've got my, my car and I'll take you, bring you back. And then in the morning, I'll pick you up for work. And the gentleman from the service station is going to bring your car back to you tomorrow afternoon before we leave work. Well, guys, we got back on base and we, we of course, we ate on base because we weren't allowed to leave after five o'clock. But I'm gonna tell you that was probably one, one of the scariest moments of being abroad and a woman, being at war with Libya, knowing that we were not supposed to talk to anybody, no strangers. We were just supposed to go do our job and get back on base. And so, yeah, that's my story. And it's a true story and something I'll never forget. So this has almost been um, 20 minutes and that's Bonnie's Bargains, Adventures of Living Overseas. And I will never forget Aviano, Italy. And so if you ever go abroad, make sure that they put the right kind of diesel or gas in your car. Point taken, never forget. And that's it with me. And so let me take this off. Of course, this one's easy to take off. And then I read the directions. Oh, it's scary. I know, it's scary. I read the directions. And you're supposed to do this. And I put this in the refrigerator. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And I'm going up because I heard this is supposed to reduce wrinkles instead of going down. A little late now in life to do this, but okay, I'm, I'm trying to, if I'm going to do this, I need to do it right if people are watching. So there we go. So, and, and Kimmy, the next one will be your mask, but I just had to look at them. I just had to look at it. Just had to look at it before I used it. I'm so proud of them. Okay, guys, that's it. Happy Mass Monday. I love all of you. And remember, always be a rainbow in somebody's clouds today. I love you guys. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.